Go where you're celebrated. Go where you are loved. And I think that's why all of us are here in the Philippines. Panoorin kung paano pinaliwanag ni Dwight Howard, Andre Blatch at Andre Robertson kung bakit mas masaya silang pagsilbihan ng Philippine basketball kesa sa NBA. Sa kanilang bagong interview ay inamin nilang mas tanggap sila ng mga Pilipino at mas nire-respeto sila kesa sa kapwa nilang mga Amerikano. Too many times in our lives we want to go to all these places where, you know, people don't, people don't tolerate us, they don't really like us. Go where you're celebrated. Go where you are loved. And I think that's why all of us are here in the Philippines now because we have a big fan base here in the Philippines. They love us out here. Dre's been coming here. He has a dual citizenship here. He knows how much they love basketball and their players that are from the Philippines. What about you, Dre? Oh, you know, this is my second home. Uh, they adopted me way back in, I want to say, probably 2014. And, uh, the the love that they embraced it for the family was like it was unbelievable. It was like uh, it was a decision to always come back, whatever they call. It. And I've been here since, whatever they call. It. Yeah. it just seemed like it's being in the Philippines is like. Yeah, no, it's been great, man. It's you know like like pick up off Dre said, just they love basketball and just being here with us. We got some good chemistry, good young guys, coaches. Everybody's cool, um, treating us and showing us nothing but love. So uh, it's been great, and man. Looking forward to seeing what, what we got going. Amazing, uh, just to see the support and the passion that they have for the sport, man. It just it's just a wonder that you know the game of basketball, the sport, uh, brings all types of walks of life together. So I thought that was a pretty dope experience and, and experience that I'm still living out. So yeah. like a big love affair with basketball and life in general, and it just goes to the quarter today. Go to where you love and not tolerate it. You know, too many times we want to go to a place and be around people that might not really like us. Uh, they don't really care about what we're doing with our lives and stuff like that. But when you come here, it's just like they just love you for you and the fact that you are alive, the fact that you have blessed them with basketball and just playing with passion, they love you for it. And that's a big, big honor. I don't think a lot of people understand, you know, just Playing basketball around the world, it kind of opens up your mind and your heart. Because being in the NBA could be very tough. You know, it could be very tough mentally, it could be very tough spiritually, and it could be very tough on your body physically. When you come overseas and you come to a place like the Philippines, it's like the fans give you wings. You feel like you can do anything. Superman for me comes alive when I'm overseas, you know, because the fans and the love and just how they greet me and how they just greet all of us. You know, they're so happy and so kind. And, you know, I don't take any of that for granted. You know, our Filipino squad, the Strongs group, <laughs> yes, versus sir. the Detroit Pistons. Now, I said we can beat them. I don't care what none of y'all say out there in uh, YouTube TV land. I feel like my squad right here, the blackest Filipino ever, Andre Blatch, he going to get they big 15 to 20. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They they got a little Dwight on their team, Jalen Durant, but I'm the real Dwight. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, hey, we got a squad over here. What you think? You think our team could beat them? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be real, man. Hell no. Nah. No, they was beating the Kings, and, and the Kings came back and won. Don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. Yes. Don't tell me yes. Yeah, they was beating the, the Kings by yes. 21 points, nah, bro. and the Kings came back and won. Nah, I nah, feel nah. like the strong arm group, if we got the Kings Man. up by 20 points, we strong arming them, and we winning the game. Hold on.